At the state capitol, a debate gets heated over a bill that would allow parents to opt their kids out of lessons discussing sexual orientation. Capitol Bureau Chief A.J. Bayadpour has you covered on why critics are also wondering why this bill is being rushed. A.J.? Well, George and Amber, typically at the start of a week, we know which committees will be meeting and when, as well as what bills will come up in those meetings. But this bill was only introduced Tuesday, and by yesterday, it was on the calendar for a hearing today. Now, there was no vote in the Assembly Education Committee. Instead, today lawmakers and activists testified for more than two hours. This bill would require schools to let parents know when there's an upcoming lesson dealing with sexual orientation or gender identity. Parents could then opt their children out. A Democrat, Sandy Pope of Mount Horeb, asked the author, Marshfield Republican Donna Rosar, if that would include lessons involving historical figures who were gay. Do the parents need to be notified that Harvey Milk is going to be mentioned in a book that they're reading about American people in America, famous people? I mean, he's got a stamp, you know. I, I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. Is that a real person? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not. Are you just using, are you just throwing that out no, as a. No, he's a very real person. Okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm not familiar with him. No. Harvey Milk is one of the first openly gay elected officials in U.S. history before his assassination in 1978. Rosar says the bill is only meant to let parents avoid lessons that clash with their values. Critics say it's harmful for LGBTQ plus kids to be deemed a controversial subject by their state. A very similar bill was passed and signed into law earlier this year in Tennessee. The committee's chair, Jeremy Feesfeld from Fond du Lac, did not respond to our calls today asking why he scheduled this bill on such unusually short notice.